According to Vedic scriptures, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a unique incarnation, the combination of Lord Krishna and his beloved Radharani. In order to reach his transcendental message and distribute his compassion and love far and wide, Lord Krishna, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, was accompanied by four other expansions of himself. Together, they were known as Panchatattva. Thus, Lord Krishna, as Sri Chaitanya, is accompanied by his plenary expansion Balaram as Nityananda Prabhu, his Mahavishnu incarnation as Advaitacharya, his internal potency or Hladini Shakti as Gadhadar Pandit, and his marginal potency or Jiva Shakti as Srivas Thakur. Now, we are going to visit Advaita Bhavan and Gadadhar Bhavan. Here, Advaita Acharya's house and Gadadhar Pandit house used to be there within this Antardvipa. Sri Advaita Acharya was the first of Lord Chaitanya's associates to appear in the world. Seeing around him the degradation of spiritual practices among the people and their attraction for the pursuit of materialistic gain, Advaita Acharya was deeply pained and wondered how they could be liberated. He fervently prayed to the Lord by worshipping his Shaligram Shilas with Tulasi leaves and Ganges water. He called out for months to the Lord to manifest in this world in order to show the people how to return to their eternal home in the spiritual world. His cries were heard by the all-merciful Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, who then advented as the son of Jagannath Mishra and Shachi Devi. Because he is non-different from the all-pervading Lord Vishnu, he is called Advaitacharya. This temple is situated in Advaita Bhavan. Here, we can have the darshan of Sri Advaita Acharya offering his prayers to his beloved Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Even though Advaita Acharya was living in Shantipur, he had kept this bhavan for his Mayapur visits. In this bhavan, Sri Advaita Acharya would worship Shaligrama Shila every day. Sri Advaita Acharya would reside in this place and every day explain Srimad Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Many devotees would congregate in his house to hear nectarian explanation from Advaita Acharya. Interestingly, Vishwarupa, the elder brother of Lord Chaitanya, would come every day here to learn Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam from Sri Advaita Acharya. Once, Sri Shachi Devi, mother of Lord Gauranga, sent Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to this place to get his elder brother Vishwarupa home to have his lunch. When Gauranga came to this place, he saw many devotees had gathered and completely lost in ecstasy hearing Advaita Acharya's Bhagavad Gita Bhagavatam recitation. When Gauranga Mahaprabhu saw the sight, he was very pleased because Supreme Lord reveals in Bhagavad Gita that he is extremely happy whenever devotees engage in singing and glorifying the Supreme Lord's activities. Mat chitta mat gata prana bodayanta maam parasparam 
ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು in reciprocation he revealed his astounding beautiful form to all the devotees gathered there in this way lord chaitanya attracted all of their hearts by exhibiting his unparalleled beauty in advaita bhava shri chaitanya bhagavata describes a wonderful pastime that took place in advaita bhava once Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed his universal form to Advaita Acharya and Lord Nityananda was preaching in Navadvipa at that time became conscious of this fact he rushed to the house of Advaita Acharya to have the darshan of Lord Chaitanya revealing universal form and he was knocking on the door and Advaita Acharya was in great awe and reverence seeing the universal form of Lord Chaitanya he was not in a position to go and open the door and welcome nityananda at that time who came to open the door it is lord chaitanya exhibiting his universal form he himself came open the door and lord nityananda saw the universal form of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu at the door of advaita acharya bhavan these wonderful pastime took place at advaita bhavan in antardweepa This serene atmosphere in Antardvipa is Gadadhar Bhavan. Shri Gadadhar Prabhu would reside here and perform his devotional activities. According to Gaura Ganod Desha Deepika, Gadadhar Prabhu is an incarnation of Srimati Radharani who came to play an important role in Lord Chaitanya's pastimes in Navadvipa. Shri Gadadhar Prabhu was born to his father Madhava Mishra and Ratnavali according to Gaura Ganod Desha Deepika they are incarnation of Rishabhanu Maharaj and Kirtida Devi the parents of Srimati Radharani in Krishna Leela the house of Gadadhar Prabhu is very close to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's house at Yogapeet Shri Gadadhar Prabhu from his childhood used to be very quiet and sober and he was always with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in childhood pastimes and they were inseparable Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Gadadhar Prabhu would go to school together and learn many of the shastras together Shri Gadadhar Prabhu would be so quiet and sober but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would forcefully drag Gadadhar Prabhu into certain arguments and defeat him but Gadadhar Prabhu would choose not to argue back to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sanyas and left Navadvip Mayapur and went to Jagannath Puri even Gadadhar Prabhu also left this place and traveled to Jagannath Puri to be with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu throughout his life let us offer our prayers to Shri Gadadhar Prabhu bhajamyaham gadadharam supanditam sa gurum i offer my respectful obeisances to shri gadadhar prabhu who is a greatly learned spiritual master this is gaura gadadhar temple in gadadhar bhavan Gadadhar Prabhu was an incarnation of Srimati Radharani hence the devotees worship Gaura Gadadhar Radha Krishna in this form
pastimes in this portion of antar dweepa made king of justice yamaraj fall unconscious on the order of lord chaitanya nityananda prabhu and haridas thakur would visit every house in navadweep and beg them to chant the holy names of lord shri krishna some pious people would take this advice of lord nityananda very happily and some people would see this as nuisance once shri nityananda prabhu with haridas thakur returning from the preaching activities saw two brothers called jagai and madhai they were very famous for performing all sorts of sinful activities chaitanya bhagavata mentions assistant of yamaraj chitragupta was unable to keep track of the sinful activities performed by jagai and madhai they were drunkards they were meat eaters they were into gambling and they were prostitute hunters and many more when nityananda prabhu saw these two sinful brothers he immediately became compassionate vaishnava para dukha dukhi nityananda prabhu wanted to deliver them by giving them shri krishna's holy name in shrimad bhagavatam it is mentioned janasya krishnat vimukhasya daivat there are people who have turned themselves away from lord shri krishna adharma shilasya sudukhitasya and they have engaged themselves in all sorts of sinful activities in this way they are suffering but they don't even know that they are suffering and when vaishnavas bhutani bhavyani janardanasya the devotees of lord shri krishna when they see this kind of people they become compassionate they want to bestow mercy upon them by giving krishna bhakti lord nityananda prabhu wanted to do this and he with haridas thakur wanted to approach two brothers and preach to them about devotional service and chanting the holy names of the lord but some pious people who were present at that time they did not approve of this in fact they warned against lord nityananda this desire and told them that the consequences would be very dangerous if they go near to jagai and madai these two sinful brothers wouldn't mind killing nityananda prabhu and haridas thakur for this but nityananda prabhu did not mind taking any trouble for sake of preaching and he approached jagai and madai and requested them to stop sinful activities and chant the holy names of lord shri krishna especially hari krishna maha mantra hearing this advice of nityananda prabhu the two sinful brothers became enraged and immediately one of the brothers madhai took the piece of an ardan clay pot and struck nityananda prabhu on his forehead as a result of this blood started oozing out but lord nityananda did not stop he pleaded to brothers and he asked them repeatedly chant the holy names of lord shri krishna haridas thakur who ran away from that place informed lord chaitanya about what happened and lord chaitanya hearing this got furious and he immediately rushed to the spot and he wanted to immediately kill those two offensive brothers he summoned sudarshana chakra and ordered sudarshana chakra to severe the heads of jagai and madhai by seeing this lord nityananda came and fell at the feet of lord chaitanya and begged chaitanya to forgive those two brothers he said my dear lord chaitanya you have promised in this incarnation you will not kill any demons but only demonic mentality please forgive these two people please deliver them by seeing lord nityananda begging for chaitanya's mercy to forgive the two sinful brothers jagai's heart melted he came and fell at the feet of lord chaitanya and begged forgiveness at that time lord chaitanya was very angry he 
he said i will not forgive both of you lord nityananda is dear to me he is more dear to me than my own self since you have attacked lord nityananda this is grievous offense called vaishnava aparad and i cannot forgive you for this lord nityananda also came pleaded lord chaitanya not to kill jagai and madai reminded lord chaitanya my dear lord in this incarnation you have promised not to take up any weapons and kill any demons you can only kill the demonic mentality of people because in kali yuga everyone is demonic you have to kill everyone in this incarnation you have come to deliver everyone your patita pavana when jagai was begging forgiveness from lord chaitanya nityananda prabhu informed how jagai tried to stop madhai from attacking lord nityananda by hearing this lord chaitanya became very pleased with jagai he embraced him and he forgave him he gave him krishna prema and revealed his four handed form shanka chakra gada padma narayana form by seeing this jagai was astonished and he started offering prayers and madhai who saw the entire incident his heart underwent transformation he came and fell at the feet of lord chaitanya and started pleading and begging forgiveness but lord chaitanya was very angry he was not ready to forgive madai but finally by hearing the request of lord nityananda and madai's heart transformation shri chaitanya mahaprabhu forgave madai and he bestowed krishna prema upon madai also in this way sadhu sanga sadhu sanga lava matra sadhu sanga sarva siddhi hoya sarva shastra kaya because of association of lord nityananda haridas takur both the brothers jagai and madai's heart were transformed and they got sarva siddhi that is krishna prema directly from lord chaitanya in this way the most sinful brothers jagai and madai were converted into celebrated vaishnavas by lord chaitanya and nityananda at this spot all this incident was watched by yamaraj and he was also very angry at jagai and madai he wanted to take away their lives but narada muni had stopped yamaraj and told him since lord nityananda has put his krupa avalokana merciful glance upon jagai and madai very soon their heart will be transformed and they'll become great vaishnavas and after watching this entire incident yamaraj couldn't believe that how such great sinful people were delivered they were liberated and they were bestowed upon with krishna prema and became great vaishnavas and this made yamaraj get into trance and in great ecstasy he fell unconscious watching this entire incident at this spot and this spot is madhai ghat where madhai one of the two brothers he was not satisfied by begging just forgiveness he requested nityananda prabhu for more atonement nityananda prabhu suggested him be here in this banks of mother ganges and clean this ganges ghat and wait and collect the dust of all the vaishnavas who come here in this way madhai who served this ghat the bank of mother ganges and chanted the two lakhs of holy names every day shed tears chanting the holy names of shri krishna out of great ecstasy this is the heart melting pastime of jagai and madai in antardweep anybody can stop somebody from committing sinful activities and transform them but making them vaishnavas making them cry in great ecstasy chanting the holy names of shri krishna is possible only for supreme lord that is why lochan das thakur says parama karuna pahudui jana nitai gaura chandra sabha avatara sare shiromani kevala ananda kanda among all the incarnation this two great personalities nityananda and gaura chandra are the best because they are parama karuna they are most merciful that they can even deliver the most sinful people like jagai and madai let us pray to lord nityananda and shri gauranga for similar mercy upon all of us 
Splendidly beautiful place in Antardvipa is called Mahashirbadi, the house of Chandrasekhar Acharya, a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya. He was popularly known as Acharya Ratna. Gaura Ganodesha Deepika describes Srila Chandrasekhar Acharya as the incarnation of Moon God. Chandrasekhar Acharya is the husband of Sarvajaya who is the younger sister of Shachi Devi, mother of Lord Chaitanya. Because she happens to be the maternal aunt of Lord Chaitanya, and this is the Lord Chaitanya's aunt's place, this got the name Mashir Badi. Lord Chaitanya would come to this place most of the days to perform Sankirtana, the congregational chanting of Lord Krishna's holy names. In Bhagavad Gita, Shri Krishna recommends all of us Manmana bhavamad bhakto madhyaji maam namaskuru. The most important confidential instruction of Sri Krishna is that we always remember him, absorb our mind and consciousness thinking of him, and in that way develop greatest attachment to Lord Sri Krishna. In order to demonstrate this, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would engage himself with all of his associates in performing various devotional drama in this Mashir Badi. He would play the role of a Mohini. Sometimes Nityananda Prabhu would play the role of a Pavanamasi. Advaita Charya would play the role of a Sadashiva. And Srivas would play the role of Narada Muni. Haridas Thakur would take up the role of a god from Vaikuntha. And they would get into ecstasy, would forget their identities, playing these roles. And audience, the devotees of Lord Chaitanya, would absorb themselves watching these devotional dramas, thinking of Krishna, remembering Krishna, and would sometimes shed devotional tears. All those beautiful pastimes of Lord Chaitanya took place in this beautiful place called Mashirbadi. This beautiful temple is present within the precincts of Mashir Badi, the house of Chandrasekhar Acharya, also called Vrajapattana, non different from Sri Vrindavan Dham. Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur established 64 Gaudiya Mats temples in order to spread the names of Lord Sri Krishna Sankirtana moment. This temple is the first temple out of the 64 temples and the first deities established by Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur. He personally established the deities and worshipped them every day. And the deities are called here Shri Shri Radha Gandharvika Giridhari. And these deities are very dear to Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur called Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur Pranadhanahe. Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur performed austerities at various levels in this place of Mashir Badi. He performed Shatakoti Nama Japa Yagnya. He chanted 100 crores of Lord Shri Krishna's holy names for many years. Every day he would chant 3 lakhs names of Lord Shri Krishna. 
also he would cook rice and put it on the floor and eat that rice without using his hands all the severe austerities shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur performed in order to receive the blessings from shri chaitanya mahaprabhu to spread the sankirtana movement across the globe and shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur stayed here published magazine monthly fortnightly weekly daily to glorify krishna katha in many languages like assamese bengali telugu english and hindi and many other languages such was the passion for spreading the holy name and krishna katha throughout the world by shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur let's offer our prayer to shri radha gandharvika giridhari and seek the blessings of their lordship and shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur at this holy place shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur proclaimed this mashir body as vrindavana established shri radha kunda shama kunda and giri govardhan within the precincts of this beautiful place called mashir body the samadhi mandirs of shri gor kishor das baba ji maharaj and his disciple shrila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur are also housed in mashir body shrila gor kishor das baba ji maharaj was known for his severely austere solitary practice of bhakti he was a renunciant who was repulsed by the attention of people who sought his blessings he avoided the public in extreme measure so when shrila bhakti siddhanta saraswati approached him to seek initiation he did not accept him as a disciple until the young man came to the point of feeling that his life was useless if this great saint rejected him again shrila bhakti siddhanta was the most luminous of shrila bhakti vinod thakur's sons founding the gaudiya math in kolkata in 1920 he came to be known as the lion guru for his powerful preaching and remarkable efforts to expand the mission of lord chaitanya The Gaudiya Math opened several centers all over the country even reaching South India. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati was the spiritual master of Srila AC Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada the founder acharya of ISKCON. It was his order that inspired Srila Prabhupada to take the message of Lord Chaitanya to the west. <laughs> 